April 25th, 2012. I drove my dad to the doctor because my mom was at work and she said something was wrong, he didn't feel right. I got him to convenient care and then all of a sudden I hear the nurse say, we've got to get him to the hospital, he's having a heart attack. If things had gone different that day, we could have lost him. He would have missed his second granddaughter. He would have missed, he would have missed a lot of happier times. My husband and I were in Colorado in the summer. We were hiking up to some falls and it was crippling for me. I really couldn't make it. That's really when I made my mind up that, you know, when I get home, I'm gonna get Dr. Corbin to check this out. If I hadn't heeded those signs, I feel like I would have followed the path of my dad and my uncles and cousins. I'm so overwhelmed by the blessing of these grandchildren and just being able to be here for them because I really do understand I could have had a different outcome and it could have had a different ending. My father, uh, he, he uh, suffered from congestive heart failure for a number of years. Uh, I had my own little problems with uh, weight and some other things like that and I said, you know, I don't know, I don't want to go down that same road. Uh, so I just made a choice myself to to make some lifestyle changes. Over a period of about 18 months, I lost about 55 pounds. I think it's really important to, to stay on top of your, your health, you know, and, and manage that. We have provided life-saving treatment for people within um, the 90-minute window. We've actually had was 84 true emergencies that we were able to intervene on. And, and what that means to me is that we sent home over 80 patients with their families. Uh, women ha have unusual symptoms. They may have shoulder pain or neck pain or jaw pain that they kind of ignore, and quick intervention is the answer. We are 45 miles from any other hospital that, that provides this life-saving service. I was having difficulty walking from my next door neighbor. I, I thought I was having just a burning sensation in my chest. When I went in to have it checked, ended up I needed stents. I've had stents put in five different times. It seems like it's more important when things happen to your children than when it happens to yourself. The last uh, stent that he had put in, he was just having pain in his elbow and he argued with me all the way over to the emergency room. But the doctor told him that, uh, said you, if you'd have gone back home, he said you would not be alive. He was having a Widowmaker heart attack. And last week, my dad had a, a bypass done. He's very important to, to our entire family. And you know, our heart is in its simplest form. It's, it's our body's plumbing. And if you let it get clogged up, then you can't, you can't go back. You know, they have to go in and, and, and redo the plumbing. My heart story is when I was three, my uh, pediatrician told my parents, hey, your daughter has a heart murmur. Do you know about that? We saw a specialist and quickly decided um, to have open heart surgery. The heart defect that I have is called patent ductus arteriosus, or PDA. Surgery to correct that today is much less invasive than the surgery that I had to have at three and a half years old. So that right there just shows you the improvements with technology and with research that the American Heart Association helps, helps to fund and helps to do. So fast forward, oh gosh, 33 years, Madeline was born and she's a twin. Pretty quickly, our pediatrician in the hospital said, mm, she's got a slight heart murmur. So VSD is ventricular septal defect. The hope is that it will heal itself as she grows, the walls of her heart, the muscles will, will thicken. We are very thankful for the American Heart Association. I'm Melanie and I go red for my dad. My name is Tanya Arnold and I go red for my grandchildren. My name is John McCommon. I go red for uh, my family. My name is Reba Seltzer and my community is why I go red. I'm Silva Cunningham. I go red for my entire family. My name is Mike Bryant and I go red for my dad, my granddad, and cardiovascular disease education. My name is Emily Fortner and this is Madeline Fortner. And we go red not only for ourselves, but for anyone else born with a heart defect.